How's it going YouTube and welcome to a new episode of First Timers. You have your host today, Alvin. Now today we're going to be talking about mirroring your Android phone to your PC. Now you might be going, why do I want to do that? For me, the main reason that uh, Hero and I do it is just because we want to be able to game stream our uh, games from our phones to everybody on YouTube. So that's kind of been our biggest thing. And I know a lot of people are going, okay, couldn't you do that with some other programs? Yes, a lot of them are paid, but I'm gonna be showing you a free option that seems to work very well for us, and hopefully it'll work for you. Unfortunately, I don't know of a uh, free version for um, the iOS platform to PC, but uh, if you do, throw it in the comments below or let us know if you have a different option or a different way of doing this as well in the comments and um, definitely I'll take a look at it and see if that'll work better for us. But right now, like I said, this works uh, very well and I enjoy it a lot. So as we get started here, you're gonna notice I'm at a website called geeksforgeeks.org. Now it's gonna, you know, we're gonna be again showcasing mirroring Android screen to PC using screen copy. And screen copy is a free and open uh, source Android screen mirroring application. It is for Android 5.0 or later. You do need a USB cable and enable USB debugging. Now I'm gonna talk about enabling USB debugging um, in a different video, or actually I'm not even gonna talk about it, I'll just share another video where somebody shows how to enable it so you don't have to worry about it. Now for Windows, again, it's very simple to set up. All you have to do is download the zip folder and it's here, so I'll have that in the description below and you'll see all these files. So you have to extract it, um, whatever zip uh, program that you're gonna be using, this is how you're going to want to unzip it and you'll see all these files that are in there. Now I'm going to click on screen copy non-console, but you're gonna notice that there's a screen, screen copy.exe or S-C-R and then C-P-Y. But again, uh, screen copy no console is what I'm gonna choose here. Uh, main reason is that the other one will pop up a little window and I really don't want that window to pop up, so I'm gonna click on run. Now on other devices, you might have a little thing that says, do you wanna allow this computer to connect to this? You're gonna click yes. Um, or okay, I should say, and then it'll actually open up here. But now to prove that this is my phone here, you're gonna see that I actually have it um, set up here, and it's, like I said, very simple, easy. Um, right now, since I have the red magic, um, I do have a little toggle switch that will allow me to go in and out of my actual um, gaming programs, very simple and easy, love it. Um, you're gonna notice that I can use my mouse to select things here, so that's actually very big for me. Now I can actually also use my keyboard, which is really, really cool. So all I can do is just sit there, type in, I go, hello world, boom, look at that. I didn't even have to use the uh, keyboard or the uh, on-screen keyboard. I can literally use my, um, my mouse and keyboard from this device. Now, obviously I can't use that for in-game. That would be very awesome. I know that there, somebody was working on something. I don't know if it's actually out yet, but, um, Again, you do have that option of at least being able to click and drag. While we're streaming, it's been a big help where I can just copy the person's username and drop it in there and I don't even have to type at that point. So it's actually been uh, very amazing and I love, yeah, I love how easy it is to work. Uh, now the next portion that you're probably going to want to know about is how do I get this game to my, um, to my Streamlabs or to YouTube. Uh, right now I'm using uh, I'm using Streamlabs OBS myself. Um, you're gonna notice that my display capture is the full this, my my full main display, and so you can kind of see that when I move my my um, my Streamlabs back and forth, you can kind of see it on my screen as it matches it there. Right now it's in the middle of my screen, so you, that's why you can kind of see kind of like the inception of uh, of screens behind it. But other than that, uh, once it's there, you, you'll notice on my screen I have a white uh, border on the top. I usually just drag it up and then resize the window down a little bit, um, which does mean that the game might be off the screen just a hair. I'm not too worried about it. Most people haven't complained or anything like that. But um, again, when you kind of see it there, you can kind of see that it is off the screen, even though on my main screen, it looks just fine. But again, I'm not too worried about it. Most people weren't worried about it. So yeah, that's, that's why I'm doing this way. Now, when I do jump in the game, I am using a Bluetooth controller. Um, I am using my main screen to look at it. I know some people, they might be a little bit of, be a little annoyed just because they, um, they feel that there's a slight uh, delay. 
Um, for whatever reason, I've gotten pretty used to it and I've gotten pretty good with uh, gaming without having to worry about the delay. Now, I'm not gonna bore you guys with my very bad uh, gameplay here, but other than that, it is actually very simple. Uh, the one thing I do want to talk about, you know, that I really won't touch on again is using the aux cable. Now the aux cable literally um, just plugs directly uh, right into my phone and directly into the computer. That is how I get my audio over to the PC or to my stream. Uh, so pretty much anybody can uh, hear my gameplay audio on the stream. Now, unfortunately, I can't hear the chats or anything just because I don't have a, um, a little Y adapter to do that. But other than that, the Y adapter is cheap enough to buy, so you can plug in one, uh, you know, plug in a headphone on one, and then plug in the um, the aux cable to the other uh, to the other side. So again, that's not too difficult. But again, why would I want to do that? Maybe I could play music in the background. Again, it's up to you. It's how you want to run your stream. For me, that's not my biggest concern. My biggest concern is so everyone can kind of hear what's going on in the game. I will have both items in the description below, so you can definitely, uh, so you can definitely go and uh, check that out and see if you guys are gonna like it. You know, like I said, it's worth a try. Right now, it's only for Android devices. Recommended 5.0 or above uh, with the Type C cable, just because the amount of data that you're gonna be transferring will be better. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button. Definitely helps out with the engagement um, on our channel, as well as if you did find it useful, um, definitely hit that uh, subscribe button. That will definitely get you to a lot of our different tech items that we're gonna be showcasing on our channel now we don't just do tech we do uh automotive as well and households and baby edition you know i have a new son so um there's a lot of different things that we talk about and that we do on our channel and i definitely uh hope that it can reach a lot of our uh current subscribers as well as our new subscribers and watchers as well anyway guys thank you for watching if you do have any questions definitely throw them in the comments below and if you uh, want to follow us on instagram tiktok and facebook that's also in the description anyway guys thanks again See you later. Peace.